Hey, Bad Monster Hunter here, and I've got a little vehicle showcase for you in Kerbal Space Program. Uh, let's get it to it. This is the hover car here. We've got Bill Kerman. He's going to show us around, give us a little looky-loo, send a little flag up there. This thing comes standard with four jet engines with uh, limited thrust so it doesn't go flying all over the place it comes with multiple um, multiple stabilizers so uh, the uh, reaction wheel so it won't just go flipping everywhere and you have landing gear and these skid plates for rough landings and also emergency parachutes so let's get old Bill up in here with Jebediah and we'll give her a test flight come on Bill Oh. Bill, you're supposed to grab it. Alright. Grab all the ladder. Let's go, Bill. See if we can actually get... Your... Getting down is a little difficult, but getting on is a bit easier. Retract that ladder. Alright, so we're going to put computer controls on. Fired up. All right. Now you have to have the reaction wheels, the computer controls on. If you don't, this thing just—it's just not going to work. She already wants to take off. Give her a little bit more of a boost. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Turn that engine off. I forgot all about that engine. We don't need to go scooting everywhere. Let's give her a little more thrust. I do not remember how much thrust it takes to get this thing to take off. It has taken off before. I don't know what's going on. I think I limited the thrust too much. It's just kind of hovering. Well, like it's supposed to. Hover car. There it goes. Let's go forward a little bit. All right. Forward thrust enabled. And she handles pretty good. We're going to test its integrity too and see how strong it is. I might need to turn. Maybe to lower the thrust just a tiny bit. We're floating up too high. I'm not practiced with this thing a whole lot. My mouse just stopped. No, no, oh, that's what the skid plates are for. Well, I was going to take it and fly it into the thing, but I can't control my mouse. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, back in action, back in action. Come on. I'll put the gears down. Right, 
gears back up, we're flying. We're hovering, to be more precise. What just happened? The Kraken. The the Kraken just destroyed my hover car. Yep. The warranty was already out in it anyway. Sorry, Bill. Sorry, Jebediah. Okay, then. We'll just revert back to the space plane hangar. We'll pull out another one. <clears throat> okay. Uh... That was completely unexpected. That has not happened to me before. So more testing is required on yon hover car. Let's just load us up a different vehicle. Let's see, the boat doesn't work. Still in progress. The bomb. We'll show that later, just a little bit later. <laughs> The car is just a variation of the hover car. Not all that great. The hover bike. I don't know if I screwed this one up or not. Let me see if I messed it up. Oh yeah. I've ruined it. There's a... Uh, I've got the curb scale mod. There we go. And I was scaling the parts and I messed it up and this, this fuel tank got shrunk. The big, there was a fuel tank here that got shrunk. And now it just doesn't have all that much fuel at all. But you can fly with infinite fuel. So, let's see, uh, what was that? I was just turning my internet on and off. That'd be really bad if I was streaming. Uh, well, we won't mess with that one yet. I'll have to, I'll have to fix it. Let's see here. Ah, oh, the Hunter Vital. Um, the monster car. That's sort of the modded thing. I'm trying to do some. Uh, vanilla stuff here. The USK Turtle. This thing is actually a tank. So let's showcase the USK Turtle. This one... There's a lot of parts on it. And this, this laptop, it just kind of lags a little bit whenever I use this thing, so... <clears throat> and it's even got vanilla rockets on it. There's so many parts on it, so many panels and batteries and stuff and things to keep it from flipping. It's crazy. Probably not the best looking tank in the world, but I like it. Actually, my first tank. A little sip of coffee. There she is, the USK Turtle. It's armored all over. You can actually see out of that, out of the crew hatch, we'll go IVA. It's a narrow vision, but you can only see what's directly in front of you. It's got, it comes equipped with six vanilla I-beam rockets that don't really fire straight um, 
there is no additional crew capacity all that's in there is batteries some uh, empty fuel tanks for stability these are anti-roll and anti-flip gear which are functioning they will pull in and pull out but see how it leans forward so the gear is necessary because all this weighs it down and it just pushes it back up and it just drives just fine so there are no other forms of propulsion but the wheels let's get her rolling all right I don't want to make this video too long so I'm not going to I'm not going to show driving all the way over there so we'll be right back when we're closer to the space center this thing is actually for being so big it does have a bit of agility to it it can actually jump provided you hit the angle right and it'll get some air get some air air baby and heavy brake heavy brake and it don't flip forward sweet all right now I'm gonna fire a few of these rockets or maybe all the rockets and hopefully we can actually hit something and another hopefully is it'll blow something up but that just might not happen because these buildings are fairly tough but if we can't blow it up with the rockets we're gonna ram it alright so fire a rocket set number one That one hit, but it didn't destroy anything. So, fire the other two sets. Oh, two direct hits and two misses. See how they fly up in the air? I haven't, they're all the same freaking rocket. And I haven't figured out how to make that work better. Come on. Oh, wrong button. All right, we're gonna back up. We're gonna destroy a building by ramming it. But we gotta get a, enough, a sufficient amount of speed to be able to do this. It's gotta be right around 20 meters a second. Break. All right, and full speed ahead. Let's pop those gears up real quick. Maybe I can get a little bit more speed that way. And it's lowered its front end a little bit. And it gears back down. For stability. I think we're going to do it. We're going to do it. Ram the building. Yes! Look at the power! The power! Urgh. I love the turtle. I love the turtle. You were just so awesome, I want to kiss you. Oh, come here, turtle. Oh, that's too close. Uh, this thing is fully capable of driving by itself. Without a, pa without a pilot. Without a Jebediah. But you cannot... I don't think you can get... Your Kerbal out. I believe the hatch will be obstructed. So he's stuck in there until you revert your flight or whatever. So whatever Kerbal you have in here, it's not getting out. Alright. Well, folks, that's all I have for you today. And I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, love, peace, and chicken grease.